Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. After Monday content, it felt like footies was in the mud, but with yesterday, EA turned it around a little bit with the content and a new upgrade pack SBC, but specifically, one other SBC that is making some prices crash on this market. We have to talk about that today, and of course, a player SBC coming once again today after a footies vote has taken place. And we're going to get the winner of that as an SBC today in this game. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you are new. Let's start by looking over yesterday's content as always with the objective section. We had brand new foot champs bonus rewards. Not too much to talk about here, except they made it easy on us this week. Six French or six Brazilian players is all you need for four different sets of wins. And you get yourself uh, these, basically this objective completed. I feel like this is a really easy objective to complete every single week. You win five foot champs matches. You have to win four to get into qualifiers anyway. And then, uh, of course, this week with French and Brazilian being the extra requirements, pretty easy to get that all done. Get an extra few fodder packs and uh, complete that objective uh, with the requirements that are there. So no MLS, but not too bad. Pretty easy there from EA. Now, it was all about the SBCs yesterday, to be completely honest. And it started off with the refresh of the 86 plus player pick, which I mean is nice, right? We were expecting some sort of player pick. We got two yesterday. But one thing I want to talk about with this 86 plus player pick, yes, of course, it's another chance and a better chance you have at packing another footies card. But let's be honest, it's really just fodder and some of the best of batch one cards. Take a look at 81 rated. That player pick coming out again yesterday with no weekend league supply. Wait, Oscar's 900 coins for 81. All of these 81s yesterday were 2K plus. I don't know how he's 900 coins right now. I really don't know don't know what supply is hitting the market, but guys, I would say if you have some coins, go out and bid on some 81s because these cards were all literally 2,000 coins yesterday, and they're probably going to go back upwards of like 1.7 to 2K again today. So stock your club with 82s. If you're trying to make some coins, fodder every single day, buying it and then selling it at or around the content drop time, especially to lazy buyers, listing a couple hundred coins or maybe even a thousand coins, depending on what fodder you're buying over the lowest price on the market is going to get you a lot of sales and it's going to be the easiest way to trade right now. Um, I'm not sure how 81s are a thousand coins because they were all 2k yesterday. So that's something to kind of watch out for right there because that 86 plus player pick refreshes every single day once again. And then EA actually listened, guys. We're so happy that the menu grind has kind of flipped 180, right? We were so upset with the 81 plus player pick requiring an 80 rated squad. Just seemed absolutely abysmal. EA said, we hear you. We're going to drop a good player pick SBC. And they re-released the 80 plus player pick, which only requires 10 golds. They don't even have to be rares. They can just be regular golds. I believe golds right now on the market are about 550. Uh, so it is worth it to probably go get the commons instead of getting the, the rares off of the market. Um, I'm probably just going to buy the rares and put the rares in from my club because I opened a couple store packs again yesterday. As you can see, I have a lot of duplicates, so we're crafting. But this SBC changes the grind once again, right? I'll take an 84. Those are like three, maybe like 5,000 coins right now. They're not 3K. 83s are 3K. But, you know, that puts the grind back into the menus and it makes the rest of the content like the 85 times 10. Or if you're still trying to do other upgrade pack SBCs like the 92 plus attacker icon or the daily uh, unlimited repeatable uh, tots or shapeshifter player pick the daily best of batch one whatever you're trying to craft right now this SBC being out makes that craft so much better so GG's to EA Sports and uh, yeah golds aren't that expensive I believe Footbin says that this SBC is four or five thousand coins to do like <laughs> heck yeah compared to ten thousand coins that the 81 plus is that is incredible value and so much easier GG's to EA now that's not even the biggest SBC it was dropped yesterday yeah it's got a 78 percent upvote sorry a 82 percent upvote but the Kalidu Kulabali center back premium footies SBC is what's really moving stuff on this market right now he is, of course, a Saudi transfer card, but he's a premium item, so he gets full chemistry and supplies extra links to Saudi League players. Five-star weak foot upgrade, and guys, you know, Koulibaly is always meta and overpowered in-game. I used 
his team of the year honorable mention card for a lot of games, and he was super duper duper cracked. 99 strength, 99 reactions, composure, great defending stats. He's lengthy as well, which is nice at this end game stage to have a pretty good pace stat and also be lengthy. If you put, I think, an anchor or a shadow on him, this is going to be one of the best center backs right now in this game for the price of 150,000 coins, which actually, when you look at the SBCs, so easy to complete. 83 rated squad in the team of the week and an 87 rated squad as well with all the fodder packs that are out. A must-do SPC, honestly. And maybe like, Nate, I've got Varane or I've got other great cards as center backs in my team. One thing to kind of think about with this SPC is it's not just thinking about right now and the here and now. And if you're going to continue to play FIFA through the next month or so on this game, um, you know, it's something to maybe plan ahead with a little bit as well because... We're going to have some more Saudi League players dropped in this game, right? Think about it. All the transfers that have come, whether we have more footies players or just transfer SBCs in general, a lot more Saudi League players might be coming onto this game here in the next month or so before FIFA 23 kind of ends. And like we saw with the Ronaldo Tots card going up yesterday from like 800k, he went all the way to a mil. He's back down a little bit now. I think this Koulibaly might be an SBC that even if you don't think you might use it that much with how cheap it is and how much fodder is uh, you know, available right now via the objective packs and stuff, if you have a little bit of time to grind, if you need to play SBC to craft really quick, do this one. Stash it in the club because even if you're not going to use it in your main team, that's an SBC player that would be very, very helpful for some later on Saudi League special cards that could come out at the end of of FIFA's time this summer. Just one thing to kind of think about. I know it's the end game, but we're still trying to be helpful and, and think about planning ahead and that sort of stuff there. Now, this Ronaldo up in price. A lot of prices, though, are down, especially on the center backs. You saw that a 91% upvoted center back SBC. Whenever a player SBC is that upvoted, that means there are a lot of people doing it. So what happens, right? What's the flip side? People have to sell cards that they had in their team to either do the SBC or to replace that card in their team with the new SBC player, right? It's a classic move or a classic case of new SBC card comes out that replaces existing card in a lot of people's teams. And those other cards get listed back up on the market and prices drop. And that is what hap is happening a lot right now to center backs. Take a look at 94 of Iran from 370,000 coins. This Koulibaly comes out, boom, straight down to 250K. He's back up just a smidge. This is happening to a ton of center backs right now in this game. Even some big ones. Edder Militao, team of the season. I actually bought Militao yesterday to try to trade with him. He went from 1.28 down to 1 million coins flat. He really hasn't rebounded that much. Even with the Brazilian hype, Roberto Carlos, Rodrigo, and the extra packs for weekend league objectives. That was the reason why I bought him. He really didn't go back up that much. He's about 50k up from his low point right there. Center backs across this entire game are down. Again, another big time top tier center back that's down is team of the year Virgil van Dijk. He was 1.3 million coins almost as well. 1.26, 1.27 went all the way to 1 million coins. Prices everywhere on center backs guys are down a lot. Even on the lower tier, Geraldo Becker center back premium card is down like 30% or something crazy. 140k to 80,000 coins. If you had any of these guys in your team, especially meta, semi-meta center backs like Delict, cards like that, a lot of those prices are down bad because this new SBC for Koulibaly is being some completed by so many people. And obviously, putting three chemistry points straight into your team is very, very easy uh, to link because that player is already on three chemistry points. Now, I do believe that some center backs will bounce up a little bit. I bought this Militao for 616, sold him for 680. I bought this Marquinhos for 175, sold him for 197. And I still have a Kunde and a Militao that I'm looking to offload and to sell. Um, so just be careful with center backs. There's going to be some more demand for them this weekend, but their prices are down a lot right now because of that Cooley Bali. So just be careful there and uh, watch more of your Saudi leaks and uh, links and stuff like that going forward. I know Ronaldo is the biggest one, but hey, that, that Cooley Bali card may come in handy later on down the line just to put that out there once more. Now, let's look at today, Wednesday. Look ahead into the future just a little bit. What kind of content are we going to get today? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is we've been having these footies votes. And I know a lot of you guys are like, Nate, what? There's been footies votes? Yeah, there's been footies votes. They just haven't been inside of the game like we really wish they have been. Now, we mentioned it once before last week, but here we are again with another vote. This was actually posted, I believe, on Monday by EA. And they said, which stat is more key 
for you for a striker. And of course, we had a vote like this last week, and it ended up being Jared and Shakiri, whose SBC dropped on Wednesday. Well, what's today? Wednesday. This vote was out on Monday. So today I'm expecting a striker with 99 shooting. Yes, based off of this vote, I mean, who would not vote for shooting based off of what EA is asking with this question here? Uh, based off of this vote and based off Shakira getting 99 dribbling last week on his card on Wednesday, his award winner SBC, I guess is what they called it. Um, I'm expecting a striker with 99 shooting today in this game. No idea who it's going to be. I hope it's somebody fun, right? Shakira was fun and different and also great value we need something like this that's just kind of the mantra of footies right fun cards juice stats and good value and i hope something along those lines comes today as a striker now we've just had tammy abraham five star skills four star week but we just had harry cool as well we've had a lot of really really good attackers recently we still have a jamie vardy we still have a joe salu still have tim cahill so we're getting another striker player sbc today i would have to imagine just like shakiri was it may not be a player that we think of or that we're even thinking of right now as like a potential for this for this player SBC, right? It might be somebody completely different from an off league, not a top five league, maybe, who knows? So that's just kind of something to watch out for, but hopefully EA does some business with that SBC today on this game. And then also for SBCs, Wednesday last week brought us one of the best value shapeshifter player picks we've ever seen. You guys are like, nah, Nate, this thing is not good. It's expensive. It's bad value. It's a gamble, right? You know what you're getting yourself into by doing a player pick like this. But guys, this SBC, if it comes back today, is probably worth crafting. I'm telling you, Bruno and my one that I got earlier last week, when it refreshed, I did it again, and I, I got Neuer. So that one wasn't as good. But again, the player pool here is so small. If you're trying to chase after a Yaris, a VVD, an Usman Dembele, any of those really top-tier shapeshifter cards, this coming back today, I think, is the best likelihood. I don't, I don't think EA can take this player pick and make it better how does it get much better than this including the icons yes but we already have an icon sbc for that so i would expect this to refresh today or something along the lines of another upgrade pack pack player pick sort of thing related to a shapeshifters player pick like this so watch out for that maybe get some fodder if you need it and then other than that the rest of the um sbc's refreshing today 86 player pick 85 times 10 Guys, I want to tell this right now and again, don't sleep on these team of the season or the team of the week upgrade packs, man. These 81 plus team of the week upgrade packs um, are basically able to be done for free. If you're doing player picks, all you need is one 84 rated player and a squad of 82 rated players. And you're like, Nate, that's like 20K. 82s are like 2,000 coins right now. Well, you can pack those pretty easily. Chuck those in there. If you've got ones in your unassigned, you've got ones in the club on your transfer list, chuck that into this SBC and you're instantly getting... A 30,000 coin player. All team leaks right now in this game are 29 to 30k. If you get lucky and you get an even better one, you get more coins out of it. Or maybe your card's extinct and you get an insta sell, right? I doubt EA is going to update a lot of price ranges on fodder. But that's just something that I would kind of um, shout out to you guys to do. Also, team of the season cards are really starting to go up again. The cheapest tots card in this market right now, if it lets me search, which it might not. Might actually, might actually just quit the game right here because that's just how EA like to do things. And the servers in this game. Or just going into the mud, but I'm pretty sure all team of the season cards are somewhere around like 40,000 coins or something like that. Pretty crazy, maybe even 45k. Let me see if I'm trying to find one here. 44k for Chesney is the cheapest team of the season card that I can find. Now, team of the season moments are a lot cheaper, um, so you could pack a Reese James who's like 25,000 coins out of that SBC. But uh, the Tots or Tots moments upgrade that one's a bit expensive. It's more the team of the week one that's worth it, right? The team of the week SBC is only 21,000 coins to do and uh yeah obviously we just looked at all team league cards are like 29 to 30k so that is an absolute w and i'm getting kicked off of the servers man i don't know what is going on this game is ridiculous at the moment just let me in fifa just let me in anyways we'll finish the video on footbin because ea don't want us on their game anyways the last thing we'll talk about today with the refresh of all the sbcs um and the 85 times 10 and stuff is fodder a little bit yeah we got to watch fodder once again because like we saw yesterday we saw these guys' prices spike once again all the way up to those pretty high prices that we can fluctuation trade with every single day on this game and uh yeah guys i still can't log into fifa so we're still trying to do that but uh last night these guys got really really low but they still went back up right immobile went from six or from 9k all the way to 10,000 coins our guy lautaro martinez had a crazy, crazy fluctuation yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw this or not, 
it's just on uh, certain cards, right? Certain cards, 9.5k. So we didn't go as low as Immobile did, but he went all the way to 13,000 coins. Like that is, that's nuts. That is crazy. So find a couple certain cards like that from a fodder perspective that trade and that move that much every day and get to trading with those because that's amazing. And watch the low tier. Like we already mentioned, those 82s and the 81s were legit all 2,000 coins. And right now, some of them are showing for like 1,000. Like that's a buy, right? I would stock those and get those in your club. Now we're back into FIFA, thankfully. There must be some PlayStation server issues or something like that going on right now. Um, yeah, just checking on Down Detector. You guys know we'll look at Down Detector a lot on the, on the stream just to check out servers and stuff. It's kind of interesting. But um, Cavani, how much is Cavani? Okay, see, that was a flip undercut at 900 coins. But you guys know what I'm saying here, right? Get on some bids, hop on some bids, and then stock some of these cards. Those are the best, th best things and best cards to trade with right now on this game the only thing with fodder to have to say is especially with team of the seasons guys we're getting closer and closer i think we even mentioned it yesterday's video we're getting closer and closer to the end um, of batch one and batch two might bring some more cards into packs including team of the season so just be careful with those again tots cards forty three thousand coins it looks like and if we go to team of the weeks 28 29k yeah 28k insta selling for all team of the week cards so make sure you get those sbcs done and all of that. Oh, also, really quick, last thing. We've been rambling here. Is these servers have kind of knocked me off course. Um, but our Ferrari goes away today. So hopefully EA dropped McLaren um, as a player. Maybe that'll be our 99 shooting SBC player today, McLaren. I'm just thinking, right? They got the car theme going on here. Maybe they'll continue that. Maybe they won't. So that SBC or that objective is going away. Maybe we'll get something to replace it. And maybe, just maybe, we could have a loading screen today. EA has not been doing much with the loading screens recently. But maybe there's something today to tease batch two or footies team three. Who knows? And one other thing, guys, we'll be talking about a little bit. We talked about it in the stream yesterday. A lot of rumors are coming out around the closed beta for FC24. And if you guys know how to get the closed beta, um, it's very, very easy. We're going to have a video on the Clips channel, kind of what we talked about in yesterday's stream. So make sure you check that out. Um, and it's a really simple way to just basically you opt into emails from EA and choose your platform or whatever console or PC you play on. And you could potentially get a closed beta email and with the code and then you just download the game from there and that's how you get the beta it's really really easy it's really really simple it's definitely kind of like doing a shapeshifters player pick and getting something good you have to get a little bit lucky to get the code um, but that's something to kind of look out for because it is august now and that is something that usually happens around this time of the year so a lot to look forward to later on this week on like friday right with everything going on footies team three we're thinking batch two coming into packs the best of batch one going out so we're going to cover that day by day as we get more information but if you guys enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nate foot account i'll see you guys in the stream today peace out